today we are going to start our second lesson in 8th standard microorganisms friend and foe so we are familiar with the word nowadays virus that everybody knowing from the very small child to the very old person also knowing about this word viruses what is virus virus is also a microorganism which is very harmful type but we cannot see with our eyes so with unaided eyes we are not able to see this particular organisms but it is spreading everywhere in the air water soil inside the body outside the body everywhere this organism is present so that is our topic today so we are going to study about much more about this topic microorganisms or microbes so what is microorganism microorganism is a type of living or living beings which we cannot see with our eyes with which we cannot see with our unaided eyes but with the help of a powerful microscope or with the help of a, a magnifying lens we can see this particular type of organism now there are generally four types of microorganisms which are they they are bacteria fungi protozoa and algae apart from that one more type of organism is also included in this they are called virus and viruses are special type of microorganisms which is different from other microorganisms why they are different um, these viruses are not able to uh, uh, not having any particular shape or particular uh, characteristics of living beings when they are outside the body outside the living organisms but other types that bacteria fungi protozoa and algae they are all microscopic they can uh, live outside the body of a living organism or inside the body of a living organism but that is the main difference between this uh, microorganisms and the viruses now we will go through details of this some common diseases which are caused by these viruses are cold influenza or flu and some types of coughs and some serious diseases like polio and chicken pox are also caused by viruses now we will study about this protozoans protozoans are also one type of microorganisms which can spread the diseases like dysentery and malaria and typhoid and tuberculosis typhoid and tuberculosis are bacterial diseases now these are about the general things you can see on the screen the different types of microorganisms uh, please see the screen where all the types of microorganisms including paramecium amoeba then algae protozoans uh, different protozoans then fungi all these you can see on the screen now we will uh, study about where we can see this microorganism where they do live there are two types of microorganisms unicellular micro uh, unicellular or single cell uh, living organisms like bacteria protozoa and some algae there are multicellular microorganisms which includes some other types of algae and fungi where they live where do they live they can be exist in all environments including ice cold environment to hot springs and deserts to marshy lands they are also found inside the body of animals including human beings and other organisms they some others can exist freely also some of them live, like amoeba they can live alone but some others like fungi and bacteria they live in colonies so these are about the general things about the microorganisms 
Now the next part of our lesson is role of microorganisms in our lives. Now we are very familiar with the word corona or COVID-19. It is a very harmful uh, viruses which is uh, all over the world it is spreading and it is very harmful. It is very threatening disease spreading viruses. When you will study about the microorganism, there are two types of microorganisms. Some of them are very friendly. They are beneficial to us in different ways. And some others are very harmful to us causing diseases. First we will study about the microorganisms which are friendly type. How they are, some of the microorganisms are very friendly type which they helps us in various ways. We can study in detail. So they are, some of them are used in the preparation of curd, bread and cake. So microorganisms has been used for the production of alcohol since ages. In olden times also people used to prepare alcohol. It is a hot beverage which is made from this microorganism with the help of them. These uh, microorganisms are also used in cleaning up the environment. For example, the organic waste like vegetable waste, remains of uh, animals, feces, excreta, etc. can be broken down into harmless and useful substances by bacteria. Now, Recall the bacteria are also used in the preparation of medicines that is very useful. Vaccines and antibiotics which are helpful to stop or prevent the dreadful diseases are made from this, uh, some of the microorganisms. If you will go to agricultural field, in agriculture also these microorganisms are used to increase soil fertility by fixing nitrogen. Especially there is a nitrogen fixing bacteria called rhizobium present in the root nodules of leguminous plants which absorbs atmospheric nitrogen and convert into nitrites and nitrates which are very helpful for the fertility of soil. So these are general things. Now we will uh, go detail about making of curd and bread. Curd contains, curd is uh, curd or yogurt which is very useful edible substance which we are using in our daily life. How it is prepared? Curd contains several microorganisms. Of these bacterium lactobacillus promotes the formation of curd. It multiplies in milk and converts into curd. Bacteria are also involved in making cheese pickles and many other food items. Especially the South Indians are more fond of idlis and doshas, rava and uh, baturas which are made of curd. Why they are using this? You think that. Now, another one commercial use of the microorganisms. These are about the household purposes. Now we will go to commercial uses. Microorganisms are used in large scale production of alcohol, wine and also acetic acid. Acetic acid is a preservator which is generally called as vinegar. Yeast is used for the commercial production of alcohol and wine. For this purpose, yeast is grown in natural sugars present in food grains like barley, wheat, rice, then crushed fruit juices, etc. Now, if you will take the yeast, yeast is one type of fungus which is uh, used for the fermentation purposes. What is mean by fermentation? Who found out the fermentation first? Louis Pasteur discovered the fermentation in the year 1857. So what is mean by fermentation? The process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is called fermentation. This, uh, after fermentation, the smell of alcohol in sugar, we can uh, get it. So take a little 
water in a beaker and add some quantity of sugar dissolve it and uh, add a half tablespoon of yeast powder in the sugar solution and keep it aside for some hours and after some time you can hear you can see that the smell of alcohol in that so this process is called fermentation now next part of the microorganism that is medicinal use of microorganisms microorganisms are used beneficial for preparing various uh, antibiotics or the medicines and vaccines in the for different diseases the source of these medicines is microorganism these uh, medicines can kill or stop the growth of disease causing microorganisms such medicines are called antibiotics so nowadays a number of antibiotics like streptomycin tetracycline and erythromycin are some of the common commonly known antibiotics which are made from fungi and bacteria these antibiotics are manufactured and by the growth growing specific microorganisms and are used to cure a variety of diseases antibiotics are even mixed with the feed of livestock and poultry to check microbial infection of animals they are also used to control many plant diseases so generally we can say microorganisms are useful for not only human beings it is also used for animals as well as the plants now the next part of the beneficial uses of microorganism is vaccines you might had heard polio vaccines polio plus vaccines or uh, polio plus drops given by the government it is uh, widely nowed use by all over the world when a disease carrying microbe enters our body the body produces antibiotics to fight the invader the body also remem remembers how to fight the microbe if it enters again so if dead or weakened microbes are introduced in a healthy body the body fights and kills them by producing suitable antibodies the antibodies remain in the body and we are protected from the disease causing microbes so generally several diseases including clo clo cholera tuberculosis smallpox hepatitis can be prevented by this type of vaccinations the vaccination edward jenner discovered the vaccine for smallpox in the year 1798 in our childhood in uh, our childhood you uh, we must have taken the injections or the injections to protect ourselves against several diseases like tuberculosis diphtheria smallpox etc now a worldwide campaign against smallpox has finally led to its eradication from most part of the world these uh, days vaccines are made on a large scale from microorganisms to protect humans and other animals from several diseases so you got a different types of microorganisms which are very useful to our Uh, ourselves and animals and plants in various ways and not only that they are useful to clean the environment also so today we are going to wind up our classes remaining the chapter will continue in the next session goodbye stay at home